Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to episode 43 of RB Plays FTV's Revelation Pack. That's right, folks, we're out on episode 43. 43 episodes that we've done here today. Uh, not today, but uh, over the course of this series. And uh, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys for loving this series so much. Uh, I am your host, RB Plays. If this is your first time here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Get notified every time we put new content up on the channel, uh, which is uh, pretty much daily right now, but that's going to change. We'll talk about that a little bit uh, before we get started in the video. So uh, over the course of this series, we have released a video every single day, and that's because I have been on vacation for five weeks from my uh, from my full-time job. So I've had a lot of time to record. I go back to work on Monday. Monday, January the 6th, I go back to work. So my recording time is going to get significantly reduced. So the rest of this week, there will be, da there will be daily videos. Uh, but starting next week, we're probably going to have to drop back down to about three videos a week. I want to apologize for that, but it is uh, it is what it is. Back there behind me, you can kind of see what we've been, what I've been working on in my off time. I've been kind of trying to lay something out. We'll go talk about that in a minute. But last episode, last time we were together, uh, we built our uh, agglomeration plate. We also did some uh, some automation with our mana pools. Uh, Lord Roden made a comment about how this would work without the potentiometer. That is exactly right. Um, basically, what would happen is that once it, this, we would not get this redstone signal to shut off the uh, precision dropper until this mana pool was full. Um, but that being the case, why am I looking? That's weird. Uh, I was looking at my map there for a second. I'm trying to figure out why, uh, it's showing me all of that stuff. I'm not even down there. That's weird. Um, anyway, I don't want this mana pool full. I want this mana pool less than full. And there's a lot of reasons for that. So that's what the potentiometer does. The potentiometer makes it so that when it's about half full, that's when we get the redstone signal. That's when we shut everything down. Uh, this mana pool should stay full all the time based on uh, based on this mana spreader, and that's cool. We built the agglomeration plate, so we made we were able to make our first uh, our first ingot of terra steel. Um, with that first ingot of terra steel, I think the next thing that we want to do is open up the portal to Alfheim so that we can upgrade our Lexica Batania. Uh, that's not the Lexica Batania. This is the Lexica Batania. Uh, upgrade our Lexica, Lexica Batania. Ooh, you know what? How do you upgrade the Lexica Batania if you're using the Akashic Tome? Like, does that work? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. I hope. I hope we're going to find out. Anyway, so yeah, I think that's the next thing that we're going to work on. But before we do that, I want to talk about this. I'm sure you guys saw it sitting up here in the in the background. Um, so remember a couple episodes ago, I said, before we started clearing out all this land, I said I wanted to have a bridge that went from the main part of the base. By the way, I'm using white concrete now too, because it's a lot easier to come by than marble and... Uh, yeah, uh, but I wanted to make a bridge. And so what I was working on was I wanted to get a nice straight line straight out and a straight line back over that way that we could use to kind of act as a guide for where we wanted the arch of our uh, of our bridge to be. Right. This being uh, this being one side, that being the other side. And then I did a uh, I did a radius. Uh, I did a radius of, I think it was 24 blocks, give or take, and started it here. I knew there was going to be a little bit of extra in here, but that wasn't going to mess it up too bad. So I started laying that out, and this is what I came up with. This is going to be, there's going to be a curved bridge that goes from the main base all the way over to the mob farm. Um, it's going to be made out of, of course... Uh, marble, probably some concrete. There will also be some terraforming that gets done over here to to reshape this as kind of a uh, you know a, a temple mount kind of a thing, which is kind of cool. I do need to finish that a little bit. I think I want windows in there, but I don't I don't know for sure if that's what I want. I still got to do some thinking on that. I did do some uh, some work over here to try and get this all finished up. I do need some. Uh, some more runes and some more um, some more runed marble and some more slopes to to finish up that going all the way back and uh, and then over here in the front uh, as I was filling this all in with concrete using the old swapping wand I was like hey you know what would look cool right here an RB plays logo made out of chiseled bits so the the logo for for the channel if you take a look at that that's kind of what I had in mind there the greens the reds the oranges the yellows all that good stuff make that look kind of cool. 
anyway that's where this stands i'll probably do a time lapse build of this guy once i get uh, once i get everything all squared away and and figure out exactly how i'm going to build it but uh, but yeah that's that's what that's all about so anyway portal to alfheim so in order to build the portal to alfheim you need to go into alphamancy which is uh, uh the extended portal of the uh or the extended side of batania it is uh, it's said that once elves used to share the world with uh with us minecrafters due to unknown events they would have been banished back to their own world of alfheim so basically what this does is this is a way for us to create a portal we can't go through the portal but we can throw items through the portal and then the elves if they like what they got they'll send stuff back to us it's super cool right and so i'm thinking i want to put the portal to alfheim over here Right, so centered on this, I want to bring the portal out this way and put that Alpine portal right over here. Right, I think that'll look super cool. Um, if we look at it like this, so there's the portal. The problem that we have with the portal is, oh no, it is. It's a three by three on the inside, so that's cool. So it'll fit in this three by three area right out here, and it should look super amazing right so let's get started on this the first thing that we need to make to make the portal to alfheim is we're going to need this uh, this elven gateway core so the elven gateway core needs living wood which we have it also needs terra steel nuggets so we should have that now too because we made our first our first piece of terra steel yesterday so let's grab some of that uh so terra steel uh nope terra steel there it is turn that into nuggets yes please uh, we need three of those. And then we also need some living wood. So living wood. If I just do this, one, two, like so, and then this. Yeah, that gives us our Elven Gateway Core, right? That's cool. So the Elven Gateway Core, that's, uh, that's easy peasy. We also need three glimmering living wood blocks. Uh, eight living wood blocks. So we need more living wood. That's six. Uh, living wood. Eight of those. So one, two. Uh, glimmering. That would be these. So we just need those plus, uh, plus glowstone. How many of those did it say we needed? We need three. Okay. So one, two, and three of those. And I think that's everything that we need to make this work. Um, besides the pylons, we're going to have to make pylons also. So we need eight living wood blocks, three glimmering living wood, one elven gateway core, uh, and at least two mana pools and two natura pylons. So we need two mana pools. Let's get a couple of those. Uh, mana pool. Mana pool. Mana pool. Mana pool. There they are. So give me a couple of those. One, two. And you should start making... Living Rock, yes you are. Uh, it's getting to be nighttime, so let's go ahead and sleep the night away. Uh, yeah, we can sleep. And we'll go ahead and set this up. Now, do I want this to be an elevated portal? I, I wanna say that maybe the answer to that is yes. Uh, hey, you're, you're doing stuff. Why are you doing stuff? Why are you, why are you making more mana? What did I use mana for? Did I use mana? Must have used some mana or something. I don't, unless it's this guy. Might be that guy. Yeah, might be that guy. So anyway, over here we want this to uh, we want this this portal, this gateway uh, to get set up. I'm thinking I want to have some marble. Let's get some marble. Do I have any marble? I should have some marble. So marble. I do have marble, and it's the marble that I want. It is the marble of which I desire, which is cool. Yeah, I think it was the, I think it was this guy. I got into his zone and uh, caused him to eat up some mana, and then, you know, then we lost everything. Or not lost everything, but we started doing some weird stuff. So anyway, come out here, go to about there, and then go to about there, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's put... Uh, what's this guy look like? So this guy looks like So the core goes in the bottom and then the three glimmering go on each side surrounded by uh, Other other things so the core is the first block that I want to put right down here in the uh, in the bottom Then we need to get some of you guys, right? So you and you we need You and you we need these guys, so one there, one there, one there, one there. 
we need you like so but then we need you back because reasons give me this yes please that's cool we'll put you over there no not you over there you the moron you big dummy rb do that and then you can do this and ta-da it works we'll lay we'll lay this out like this because i think we can do that pretty sure we can do this and then like this yeah that works that should eh, do i like it or do i not like it yeah i kind of like it uh we're gonna need these mana pools and i think that i don't think it matters where the mana pools go so let's put them here as long as it's within so many blocks of the of the portal it should be fine so, yep that's gonna work so let's get these uh let's get these pylons made now right so pylons pylons we just need the basic ones the mana pylons right no we need natura pylons which needs mana pylons to start and then we also need terra steel ing or terra steel nuggets we should have enough terra steel nuggets though so anyway let's get some of these we need a couple of mana diamonds some mana steel and some mana and some gold don't have mana diamonds so let's make a couple of mana diamonds need two of these two of those And we'll just go just like this, just like this, and apparently throw them on the ground. There we go. That's better. Cool. Oh, I love how this is working. Uh, Silver, Estrissi, as you guys know him on the channel, uh, made some comments that this is going to break. It's possible. <laughs> it is possible that this is going to that this is going to fail at some point in time, and that's and that's cool. We can we can work our way around that. I'm not sure why it's going to fail just yet, but we'll see. Oh, Gaia pylons. Okay, anyway, Natura pylons, we just need some of those. We need some Eyes of Ender, which we don't have. So let's get some Eyes of Ender. Nope. Yep. Yep. Nope. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, Blaze Powder. Somebody, I think it was Lord Roden, said I put this in the wrong... In the wrong machine when we set that recipe up and he's po it's possible that he's correct machine does not accept item <laughs> okay let's cancel that let's go check that out where did we put that well uh, let's go this way we can get there faster if we just do this so home so it should have gone into a pulverizer right i did not put it in the pulverizer i put it in here put it in the fluid transposer whoops <laughs> way good call lord roden all right, so now we should have that. So let's go back to our Batania area. And let's see if we can do this. <laughs> blaze powder. S silly stinking blaze powder recipe. Uh, blaze. Uh, make those. Yes, please. There we go. And now we just do that. We get one, two eyes of ender. Get ourselves a pylon recipe. The Natura pylons. Yes, please. Give me one. Give me two. Groovy. Um, we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need to fill these up with mana. So let me, let me do this. Let me just grab my band of mana. And we'll go ahead and we'll put him in there. And that should start filling. Yes? Where's my wand of the forest? We need it to get about half full. Once it's about half full. Then we should be able to light this puppy, right? We get it to be about half full. Okay. Do the same thing over here. Are you empty? You're empty. We're going to have to go fill you up. Holy cow. Oh, yuck. I missed. I missed again. And... Fill. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what. Let me let this fill up. I'll come back to you guys in just a minute. Okay, so second mana pool filling. Um, this 
working swimmingly. I love it. We'll let this guy fill up to about half full, right? Which, coincidentally, that's all the mana that this guy holds is about a half a pool of mana. So is there an upgrade for that? Uh, band of mana. Yes, there is. There's a greater band of mana. How do you get that? With Terra Steel. Okay. So maybe we should make a piece of Terra Steel. Get that all filled. Get that all taken care of. But that should light this puppy up, right? So if we do this and then we do this. Put that there. And put you there. And then do that. Nope. Oh, one of the forest elf is how you do it. Uh, uh, yep. And that. Yeah, that should light it. So now, now here's the now here's the kicker. This is my Akashic Tome. And my Lexicopatania is in my Akashic Tome. Can you throw this in there? And will you get it back? I'm prepared for the world to... Am I prepared for the world to crash? Uh, slash backup. Uh, available subcommands. Yeah, slash backup start. Slash backup start. We're going to go ahead and do a manual backup of the world real quick because I don't... I'm, I'm kind of prepared for this to crash for some reason. I don't know... Manual backup launched. We'll let that finish up real quick. Uh, the world's not super big, so it shouldn't take that long for the backup to finish. Okay, I think we're ready to try this. Um, let's see what happens. <gasps> we did, we got the upgraded book, the Elven Guard, sweet. So now we have the portal to Alfheim. We also have the resources of Alfheim. Um, uh, Alfheim Apomancy, oh, there's bees from Alfheim. Oh, that's cool. Elven lore. Uh, the Ritual of the Gaia, the Ritual of Gaia 2. So all of that stuff is now at our disposal. A message from the Elven Guard. Uh, greetings. We noticed that our portal was opened via a link from another world. That's rather shocking news indeed. We thank you very much for providing us with the repository of knowledge from, the, from your world. As to keep us up to date to what has happened since we left it. Uh, basically what happens now is anything that we throw into there um, will get something back. So like if you... Um, Mana diamond, mana diamond uses, um, elven trade. If you throw a diamond in, then you get a dragon stone, right? Uh, ender pearl or uh, in, uh, mana pearl. I think there's a trade for the mana pearls too, like pixie dust or something like that. Uh, elven trade, yeah. So uh, if you take a mana pearl and throw it through there, you get pixie dust back. So now we can trade with the elves, right? I need to do some li a little bit more decorating with this. We'll do that before the end of the episode. Um, but yeah, I think the next thing that I want to do is I want to upgrade this uh, this band of mana because it needs it needs some help. <laughs> it needs some help. So we need a piece of mana steel. Uh, we need a mana pearl. A piece of mana steel. And a mana diamond, which I don't have a mana diamond. So let's go ahead and make one. And then I'm going to need to, I think we need to see what we can do to kind of automate this process, right? Um, I think there's a way that we can do it pretty handily. And I think it's going to require doing some precision dropping of stuff, right? So you and you and you. And you should start doing your thing, yeah? No. Oh, eh, you're a diamond. You don't work. You don't work. There we go. Now you'll work. Yeah, now it works. Sweet. How are we doing up here? Oh, yeah, we should have plenty. We should have plenty. So that'll get, get together, make a piece of Terra Steel. We should be able to upgrade this guy to the next level uh, band of mana, which is uh, mana. Yeah, greater band of mana. So it'll hold a lot more. So instead of holding a half a pool, it probably holds like one full pool of mana, which is cool. And there we go. Sweet. So now if we take this, put it up there, and take this, and put it up there, that gives us the greater band of mana, right? Cool. We'll need to upgrade our magnet. We need to upgrade our magnet so that this... Ooh, use metadata, yeah. So that is now up there. So now we can drop this into a pool. 
and he should start filling up with mana, and we shouldn't have to, we should not try to pick him up. Are you filling? I think you're filling. Oh, we did try, we did pick it up. Dang it. Probably because we got too close. Anyway, yeah, that's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty snazzy. So we'll let that guy fill up for a little bit. Uh, not that we need to have any access to mana right at the moment. Um, so what's next? Like, what is totally next? I guess the next thing that we want to try and do is see if we can automate this. I want to be able to automate making Terra Steel. Um, and I'm not quite sure how to... I mean, I know how to do it. I'm just not sure if my way is going to be a good way. Um, let me gather up some materials. I'll come back to you when uh, when I've got an idea that I think will work. Actually, I have an idea that'll think will work. I just got a lot of auto crafting to do. I got to use like a, a crafter and a crate and all that good stuff. So be right back. Okay, so I think I'm ready. I've got a range collector. Uh, I've got a crafter. I've got a precision dropper. Um, all of those items are important. I also have some more conduits, uh, more refined storage conduits coming. So uh, conduit, yep, they're ready. Because uh, seven was not going to cut it. Like seven wasn't going to cut it at all. Uh, what we're going to need to do, and I think I want to do it, say, right about here. This is going to look a little dire wiry, which is, it is what it is, but there, I don't know of a better way to do this. So let's go ahead and break our way down here. Uh, about that far ought to do. Dig this way a little bit. Uh, yeah, we can, yeah, we can do that. You know what would be good? The actual tool that will make, that will make this look a lot easier. There we go, that's exactly where I wanted to be. So first things first, we want to uh, we want to get a ranged collector. We're gonna put the ranged collector right here uh, and we're gonna configure him. We want him to blacklist. Uh, we want him to blacklist. What do we want him to blacklist? We want him to blacklist uh, diamonds, mana diamonds, mana pearls, and mana steel. So let's get some of those. Uh, mana, pearl, mana, steel, and a diamond. Cool. Let's go make a mana diamond real quick. And I think we can... Can I have you back? No, can't have you back. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. Oh, I guess I gotta wait for this. Let's while we wait for that to fill up a little bit, let's go down here. And we're going to tell it to blacklist you and blacklist you. Nope, not you. <laughs> Wrong item. Blacklist you. Right? So now if I put you down, that should not get picked up, right? Correct. But if I drop something else, like this should get picked up yeah I did not pick it up should be in here yes perfect cool that works can I drop this in here yet I can cool there we go so now we'll tell this also don't pick up these right and then up here we're gonna want to get our precision dropper so let's and yeah, let's uh, let's yeah we'll do it out of, we'll do it out of dirt. Dirt will be easier to get rid of. So let's go up here like this. Go there, 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 and there. Yeah, that's cool. You're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be in here, aren't you? Yes, you are. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? It's getting to be nighttime, so we'll have to sleep. But uh, now we want to put this guy down. Like so, but we need to turn him around. There we go, face him down, cool. Sleep the night away, so that no baddies come and destroy us while we're trying to set this guy up. And then, and then, and then, 
yeah, I think we're gonna bring it up right here. I think this is the I think this is the place. Uh, so we can do this. We can get some more of these. We need to set you up as an import function upgrade import filter. Yeah, so that'll be what that is. Okay, so now that should get that online, right? Let's get a let's get a filter. Uh, filter from here. That'll take care of that. We'll get rid of you, I think. We'll get rid of you, I think. We're gonna need to break this, I think. Oh, of course. One more. Hello. There we go. And we want you to go there and we want to configure you to blacklist nothing. So now everything that was in there should be uh, should be out. Cool. And I think you're ready to try. So now we need to go back to the wither skeleton farm. Actually, we should just be able to do this, right? Hey, that's going to work, I think. Nothing should get picked up until it's Terra Steel. We could have just whitelisted Terra Steel. But I think that's going to do the trick. We just need to set up a pattern for this now, and we should be able to automatically produce Terra Steel anytime we need it. Oh, you know what, though? We have a problem. We don't have any mana. So Estrissi was right. We have failed ourselves. While we're waiting for that to fill, let's go and make the recipe for this. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and go back to the Wither Skeleton Farm and get a, uh, get a recipe made for this. And uh, I'll come back to you guys in just a minute. We're going to let that mana pool fill up a little bit. Before you can make a recipe for Terra Steel, you have to make some Terra Steel. So the pickup of this worked swimmingly. Uh, the Terra Steel got pulled back into the refined storage system, which is awesome. So now we have that. So now we have this, right? Uh, can I see automatic precision dropper? Sweet, that's where I want it. That's cool. So now we just need to wait for the mana to get going a little bit again, make, make sure that we've got enough mana, but we should be able to make another piece of Terra Steel. We gotta go back and make another, oh, the, by the way, this is out of power because our, our deep resonance crystal broke. We, have, we ran out of deep resonance crystals. I was AFK a lot and wasn't paying attention to it, so now uh, deep resonance has no power, which is un, uncool. It's very uncool. Anyway, let's go back to the Batania base. Yes, please. Uh, it's almost nighttime. Is it almost nighttime? No, it's not almost nighttime. Let's make ourselves a mana. Let's make us. Let's make some. What all do we have? Do we have? So man, uh, we need mana steel, mana diamond, and mana ingot or mana pearls. We're running kind of low on kind of everything. Um, let's get some uh, pearls. Give me, give me two, and then also give me a diamond. We'll make like six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. That should be fine. Go ahead and drop those in there. Go ahead and drop those in there. That gives us those. That is probably not enough. Now yeah, it's probably not enough mana. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and AFK a little bit. Let that kind of build up. We'll throw these back in here. And, uh, and then when the time is right, we'll give it a test and see if it'll make us a Terra Steel ingot, right? Actually, you're probably, I know it recovers it. Let's see if it drops it. So Terra. Make one, please. No, just one. Oh, dang it. Start. So did it drop the items? It did. It totally did. How are we looking on mana? Oh, we're empty. So yeah. So once we have enough mana, it will definitely work because 
we know that it'll, we know that the precision uh, that the that the pickup guy will pick up the man or the terrorist deal. So that's working, folks. We did a good thing today. That is that is super cool. Anyway, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we'll chat, we'll chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by my Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. But once again, folks, that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.